Before we begin, I just want to let you guys know that there's a table of contents in the description. Basically, I'll let you uh, skip to a certain point where I talk about uh, certain weapons, perks, or kill streaks. And if you guys don't want to listen to the whole thing, skip to those sections in the description. It's a really long video. Anyways, enjoy. Black Ops 2 Multiplayer. Black Ops 2 Multiplayer. Black Ops 2 Multiplayer. No matter how you guys want to put it, um, uh, Black Ops 2 Multiplayer. I mean, holy crap. Uh, if you have no idea what's going on in the gaming world, the gaming event called Gamescom is going on in Europe. Uh, basically, it's like the E3 version, except it's in Europe. So basically, it's a giant gaming convention where companies show off their games, show off their new stuff, and that's where Treyarch is uh, releasing the full multiplayer, or not the full multiplayer version, but uh, a, I guess like a beta, sort of, for people who go to the event, and a bunch of... Uh, I guess reporters who are there to see what's there, uh, a bunch of them jotted down what was in the creative class system uh, that Treyarch has introduced and if you have no idea, the creative class system is completely changed, it's called Pick 10. Basically uh, it's normal, unlike the normal system where you pick up 3 perks, your primary secondary weapon, uh, grenades and equipment, now you can pick, you have 10 points to spend on your class and you can pick whatever uh, 10 things you want for your class. You want six perks? You you can have six perks. You, you don't want a you don't want a secondary. You don't need a secondary. You don't want uh, you don't want equipment. You don't need equipment. I mean, you can spend these 10 points however you like. And I'll talk it. I'll talk a little more about it later because, uh, like I said, these reporters who go there they got to get the game a little bit early. Uh, and they were able to chop down what was in the creative class system available to them. So I don't think all the weapons. Probably not all the weapons, but most of the weapons and a good chunk of perks, equipment, and kill streaks. I know you guys are excited about that. So, anyways, let's get into it. Uh, we're gonna start off with all the kinds of guns that were available to the like, people playing the game. One thing I do have to say is that if you guys have no idea, uh, there are actually multiplayer games already on YouTube, and by the time I post this up, there's probably gonna be more because I think the live stream of the multiplayer games is gonna start. Well, sometime on Wednesday, and I'll, this video will probably be out by then, hopefully. But that's uh, they're gonna be start streaming. But if you're, you know, if you don't know, there's already gameplay up on YouTube and five full games, and I saw a bunch of awesome things. And I mean, it was great. It was great. Anyways, let's get to it. We have the assault rifles. The list looks pretty good. Uh, I hope there's more assault rifles. I mean, right here, uh, I can. Definitely confirm that the AN94 is there, M8A1, we've seen that. Type 25, I believe it's Type 95 I saw in the game, that's probably a typo. Uh, I saw the SIG and I saw the SCAR H in these five gameplays, so just to let you guys know what's what's definitely in the game. Uh, here we got the shotguns, the M1216 was in the multiplayer trailer, it was a pretty looking, crazy looking shotgun. Uh, there's a SIG 12, the R870. So I'm not sure, you know, hope there's more shotguns. <laughs> and just keep in mind this list is a bit short, so you know, uh, light machine guns, there's these three. We saw two of them in the trailer. And I think this list is so short because, you know, I, I believe last year multi Modern Warfare 3, a bunch of guns were not released for the actual public to play on. But you know, uh, three sniper rifles here, uh, two of them were in the game. I think that the SVU was... Uh, in the five games I watched. Uh, here we can see the assault shield, the ride shield is back, and a bunch of submachine guns. Um, and then we got the secondary weapons. Uh, here we have the launchers, uh, pistols, and the combat knife. Uh, so up next, uh, we have a bunch of attachments for the assault rifles. There may be more for the other guns, but this is for the assault rifles. There's reflex scope, ACOG, the hybrid optic is back, uh, suppressor as usual, um, the stock, which might be a grip. Um, and then there's the grenade launcher, which I think should be gone, but that's okay. Uh, FMJ and extended clip, which is extended mag. And there's a bunch of new ones that we have we have here. Uh, the target finder. If you didn't know in the trailer, it, it was that really big scope that like take. It's like a sniper scope. It blocks your entire field of view, but it marks the enemy in in a red di a diamond. I think that's pretty interesting. Uh, the fast mag, that might be the dual mags, but who knows, that might be sleight of hand because remember, uh, perks that affect the guns, uh, like steady aim, maybe sleight of hand, are gonna be attachments now, so that might be sleight of hand right there. Uh, the quick draw, that's definitely probably gonna be like, um, quick draw is in Monster 3, aim down sights faster. Uh, the grenade scanner, don't know what that is yet, but the millimeter scanner, we know what that is. That is the scope that we've seen, the one where you can see through walls, it shoots out like a 
I guess like a post and you can see enemies through the wall. That is the millimeter scanner. In the multiplayer trailer it was on the PDW and it had the MMS at the end and that's the I guarantee that stands for the millimeter scanner right there. So that's definitely in the game. So rounding out the new attachments, oh we have select fire, which I think is gonna be able to change the mode on your gun. I'm not sure if it's you're gonna be able to change it in game, but it, I, or I'm not sure how you're going to be able to change it like if you want to have it single fire and stuff but uh, so far I've only seen it that it's changed auto fully auto guns to burst mode so I'm not too sure how that's going to work but it definitely changes the firing mode on your guns. So moving on to perks we have some big changes so we're going to have to sit down for these uh, things. Uh, for tier 1 perks um, we have flak jacket which is the same as always, ghost which is very interesting. Uh, you cannot be detected by enemy UAVs while moving. So if you, you guys who like to camp in corners, uh, you're screwed basically. Uh, blind eye, uh, same as usual in Moffat 3, unaffected by the AI controlled perks. I think that must be killstreak because I read that weird. <laughs> Hardline, you receive bonus points faster, I'll explain that later. And lightweight, as usual, move faster, take no falling damage, which is pretty damn awesome. So for perks two, perk two uh, tier, we have some interesting perks. Hardwire uh, is immune to counter UAV EM and enemy EMP. So kind of like it took Assassin Pro and stuck it in its own field. Uh, scavenger, uh, you, we can replenish grenades. It looks like again, thank God. Uh, cold blooded. So cold blooded is different from Ghost in the fact that you're resistant to player controlled kill streaks. So there's two kind of kill streaks. There's player controlled and AI controlled, and some are player controlled and AI controlled. Um, uh, basically, you're gonna be able to hide from people from the kill streaks that are player controlled, and you won't. Sh you're, you're still gonna be vulnerable to the AI controlled kill streaks. Um, toughness looks like hardened pro or focus proficiency from Offer Three. Take less flinch, less one shot, and fast hands. Swap grenades faster, use grenades and equipment faster, and safely throw back frag grenades. Seems kind of like quick draw. Just uh, you know, quick draw pro. Okay, now we got perk uh, tier 3 perks uh, engineer looks like it's gonna be hacker from black ops except now you can reroll care packages so kinda looks like it took hardline pro from black ops and stuck it with hacker uh, dead silence the usual most silently extreme conditioning uh, sprint for a longer duration I really want marathon because marathon is infinite sprint and that makes the game so much faster paced uh, tactical mass it looks like it's taking the idea of tactical mass pro from black ops which uh, reduces the effects of the tactical grenades that are thrown at you uh, awareness is mo hear enemy movements uh, easier so kind of like super pro in the other games and dexterity which is a sp kind of like a speed perks takes all kinds of features from past perks and it's kind of just an all-around speed perk right there Okay, so hitting back to some common ground, we have the lethal grenades, which is the uh, regular frag grenade. Semtex is back. The combat axe is the tom no one's gonna call it the to combat axe. It's, to it's the tomahawk. Call it the tomahawk of the claymore. C4 and the bouncing betty returns from mon its modern warfare three debut. So it looks like uh, the general, I guess, standard uh, lethal grenades. Uh, I'm really excited. I like all of those actually. So as soon as we reach some old ground, uh, we are thrown immediately into the fire with. Tons of new tactical grenades. Uh, the sensor grenade, uh, I assume it's kind of like the motion sensor from Battlefield Bad Company 2. It's kind of like a motion, a portable motion sensor that you threw, and it kind of sent out a motion sensor uh, type uh, wave. Uh, the flashbang concussion looks like they're back as usual. The shock charge, we've seen that, except uh, it doesn't explode on con uh, like after you throw it. It sticks in the ground until someone passes by, and then it, it shocks them, I guess. The EMP grenade, I assume that's going to be important uh, with all the new technology in the game. Tactical insertion, uh, I don't think we need that, but okay. Smoke grenade as usual, and the black hat PDA. I think uh, this is kind of like they're taking a thing from their zombies. They, uh, the last zombies map pack had the map called Moon, and it had like a hacker type equipment that you could use to uh, hack things on the map. And this is, I think they're kind of taking it from that. Just, you know, to hack equipment, care packages, and disable enemy vehicles. I don't know how you're going to do that. Uh, and then you have, and then you can uh, spend an additional point on, on tactical grenades to get two of them. Again, with new stuff, uh, we have wild cards. Basically, if you watch the multiplayer trailer, everyone didn't know what those three boxes underneath the class, the custom class was. And we found out that they are actually spots for wild cards, so they're one of the ten things you can uh, one of the things you can spend your ten points on. And basically, wild cards change, kind of uh, bend the rules a little of how the custom class system works. Basically, uh, you can get more attachments, more perks, and you see right here, primary gunfighter and secondary gunfighter. You can get a third attachment for your primary weapon, and or you can get a second attachment for your primary weapon. 
I'm kind of interested in that because two attachments on your secondary was fun, and I don't know, we've never seen three attachments on, you know, a primary, so you're going to be able to put that third attachment on if you choose the primary gunfighter, which is an extra point, uh, however, so, you know, uh, Overkill is a wild card now, so basically it lets you take a primary as a secondary, that's actually a really strong one right there. And Danger Close, take a second lethal grenade, so it looks like you're going to have to have that if you want to have two frags or two C4s or stuff like that. Um, perk 1 greed, perk 2 greed, perk 3 greed. Basically, it lets you take a second perk, so you can't just have six perks for free. You're going to have to spend some extra little points on wild cards to be able to get those second perks. So if you want uh, two... If you're gonna want um, two first tier perks, you're gonna actually have to spend three points because you're gonna have to spend two for the the first two perks, and then you're gonna have to spend one for the wild card. So you know, I guess it's kind of a balancing issue right there. And the last one we have on the list so far is tactician, which is take a tactical grenade instead of your lethal grenade. Moving on, kill streaks are once again changed to score streaks. Basically, instead of kills this time around, uh, you're gonna have to get score. Basically, um. Your experience points and your score points are separated in this game. Your score points will count toward your experience, but it, not the other way around. So basically, you, you get a kill, you're gonna get like 50 points, maybe. Uh, that's gonna uh, add to your score streak. And you know, maybe if you destroy a, or you get like a, I guess an assist, that's gonna add more points to your score streak. Basically, you just have to rack up points to get your, these score streaks instead of kills. So you know, capping. I'm, I assume. Uh, anything that you do for the objective is going to add to your score streak, so that's going to, you know, playing the objective is going to fairly net you some big points, especially this is a lot of points for some of these kill streaks. I mean, just look at this, the, RC, the RCC or the RCXD, I know it's, it's the RCXD is back, I saw it, it's a remote controlled car basically, and it's 325 points, I mean, normally that's like 3 kills in TDM. And I'm not sure about uh, other game modes, because in other game modes, kill is only worth 50 points, but that might change. Once again, experience and uh, score points are separated, so we'll see about that. The UAV is 375 points, a uh, standard UAV. Uh, Hunter Killer, uh, that's a really interesting one. It's like, basically, it's those drone flyable drones that you see people throw in the army nowadays. Basically, it's a paper airplane you throw, it's a robot, it finds someone, and then it kamikazes the crap out of them. It's actually really cool, but... You know, we'll see about how it goes in game. Uh, next up, we have the care package. Standard care package drops a random score streak. Uh, the county UAV is next on the list. Dis uh, disables enemy radar. The guardian, we've seen that in the trailer. Basically, it sends a microwave field that stuns and impairs enemies. And yes, the guardian can kill people. In the in uh, one of the five games I saw, it did hurt the player and it did kill him when he was hurt. And it. Does la it has a pretty wide range. I mean, it looks like it goes across the map until it hits a wall or something, and that's pretty powerful for guarding choke points. Um, the Hellstorm missile, very interesting. It's like a Predator missile, except basically you at any time you want, you can uh, uh, disperse it into multiple missiles. So it's kind of like an airstrike, sort of. So you you can either send it down as one huge missile, or you can send it down in about like, a, I, I want to say like a burst of like, 10 missiles that go or in a general area where you're pointing already that's actually really cool i've seen the lightning strike i did see the lightning strike used uh it's basically a mortar strike except it doesn't take about 20 minutes for the mortars to come and it's pretty instantly and it, it looked pretty damn cool uh the death machine so yes the death machine from black ops is a it's actually a kill streak now you don't have to you don't have to get lucky and get it in a care package i'm very happy the death machine is freaking a beast basically it's a insta kill machine gun turret thing that you hold and it just rapes phase sentry gun uh interesting you can the sentry gun is the usual sentry gun you can let the ai shoot people but you can also remote control it kind of like the remote sentry in Mafia 3 and then we have the war machine which i have no idea rapid fire grenade launcher <laughs> we'll see how that works and then we have the dragon fire which is the quad rotor with the light machine gun and i can tell you for one not a lot of health it gets shot down pretty damn easy Okay, moving on to the big boy kill streaks. We have the AGR, which you've seen is a little tank that uh, is airdropped by our helicopter. And actually, it's actually AI controlled, but you can also control it yourself if you want to. Kind of like the sentry gun I mentioned before. The stealth chopper, pretty damn interesting. Calls an attack helicopter, which doesn't appear on the enemy's mini map. That looks really cool, actually. I mean, I don't know how that's going to work, but that sounds really awesome. Uh, the orbital VSAT, which is basically a blackbird. I really hope this is true. Once again, all, I, I think all of these killstreaks are true because these people went to the game and they actually got 
not, they actually got to play the game and set up the custom classes. So I'm pretty sure these are the defined kill streaks. They may be tweaked, you know, based upon what happens at GamesCon, but you know, this is what we have so far. Basically, the Orbital V set is the Blackbird. Thank God, ne we really needed that in Mario for three. Uh, the escort drone, a uh, personal air support from an escort drone. It sounds like the A86 from Mono for three. It's something that follows you around and shoots people. Uh, the Warthog. Oh man. I really wanted a Warthog from Halo, but no, it's like a, sounds like it's going to be like a Harrier, basically, except it, or, I don't know, it sounds like a Harrier with strafe run type thing. It's going to go across the map shooting people for you. Uh, the EMP, I don't, really don't think we need any more EMPs, but this time it's not, in, there's no support, by the way, so, you know, all of these are assault streaks. You have to get all the, all these points in one life to earn these kill streaks, so that's actually a little more fair. EMP does its thing, takes out enemy equipment and electronics. Uh, the Lodestar, I have no idea what this is, but it sounds like the Reaper. I haven't seen this yet, but uh, the description says it sounds like a Reaper. Just shoot missiles from the sky. Uh, next we have the VTOL Warship. That sounds badass. Warship. What do you think of that? So that sounds like it's going to be like a freaking amazing chopper gunner of some sorts, or maybe an AC-130. That sounds really cool. You're going to be able to pilot that thing. Uh, then we have the K-9 unit. It's 1,275 points. That's quite high if you think about it. I mean, that's at least 12 kills in TDM, and who knows what else in other game modes. But that's a lot of points for the dog, so dogs are back. And then we have Swarm. Basically, uh, if you saw in the multiplayer trailer, that was what at the end, there was a bunch of hunter-killer drones that they're just going to kamikaze the enemy, and <laughs> that sounds really awesome. And that's all I have for you guys. Basically, uh, that was a list of all the items in the creative class that the people who got to play the game early, they were able to jot down for their respective companies and post to the internet, and I thank them for it because, well, they pretty much ruined my first day back to school with a shit ton of Black Ops 2 information, and it makes me very sad that we have score already. But anyways, um, that was a bunch of information. I think most of this stuff is true and will stay true for the entire uh, duration of the game uh, until it's released because... Uh, ghost, for one thing, the ghost thing is definitely confirmed. David Von der Hart hit, said himself that ghost is only going to work if you're moving. And, you know, so that kind of confirms that this list is pr definitely true because I think these guys were playing the game at Gamescom and, you know, they were able to jot down what was on the thing. Keep in mind, uh, everything changes usually before the game's actual release. So some of these perks and kill streaks may do different things depending on how it goes at Gamescom. But that's the general idea of what to expect. And if you guys aren't excited, I don't, I don't know what to say to you. I mean, I am very excited for this game now. After watching this and the five games that I saw, I will link all five, or I will link uh, all five gameplays that I've seen. But guarantee, by the time you guys see this video, if you decide to click on it, I know it's a long video, but you know, by the time you click, you finish this, uh, there's are definitely gameplay going to be up. I think the live stream of actual multiplayer is going to be coming from Gamescom by now. And so, you know, it's going to be no problem. You guys will, you guys' inboxes will be spammed with Black Ops 2 gameplay. But I hope you guys are very excited. It The game looks great. It's not even finished yet, but it looked great. I mean, they talked about how they changed sound and how sound sounds different in different kind of environments. Yeah, I mean, this guy was in a small room and he was shooting his gun. And you could literally hear the echo of the gun going through the room. And he walked out of the room and it sounded completely different. It was really cool. I mean... I think Cherix got their game together. Uh, one interesting thing I noticed while watching the gameplay, your character makes a ton of noise. Like, I'm not even joking. He, the, your person nice, he makes a giant, he makes a loud grunting noise. He, he dies, he makes a death animation noise. I mean, a lot more sound to this game, and I don't know how that's going to play out, but definitely Cherix adding stuff. I mean, you can see this entire list revolutionary. I mean, this is no longer the Call of Duty we know. This is. It has evolved into something so much, you know, so much more different. And I hope that when the next console comes out, because uh, definitely I think this is going to be the last uh, Call of Duty on the Xbox 360 until the new uh, next gen consoles come out. And I'm excited for what Treyarch's going to do on those systems. I mean, if it's not, then, you know, I'm looking forward to another great game. But, anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this list. I know this is a freaking long video, but. This, this is a ton of information. It blew my mind when I got it, pretty much. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you know, thanks for watching. My name's Arvid, and I'll see you guys later.